Hello, Anderson County. This is Councilman Brett Sanders recapping July the 16th, 2024's council meeting. I'm excited to uh, share that Eastern Engineered Wood Products is going to the city of Belton. They're starting out with a $16 million investment, 25 new full-time jobs with benefits at a starting salary of $28.90 uh, per hour. Uh, it's a $1.34 million annual payroll. Property taxes on the property uh, last year was $292. Uh, this coming year, it'll be over $134,000 in property taxes being paid. And we know that uh, the mill that closed down in Belton, uh, they've, they've seen some struggles on uh, good opportunities and career jobs in that area. It's a, a great area, but I'm happy for uh, Councilman Elgin uh, Mayor Dorn and her team that, uh, you know, they've got a, a $28.90 per hour uh, wages coming to the area and hopefully that will entice others to to look at the Belton area and realize that they do have a, a skilled workforce down there that they can tap into. Also tonight we, uh, we renewed our lease at the uh, Sandy Springs Park. And I'm excited about that. The park's uh, near my house and, and in the heart of my district, and a lot of people use that park. And the problem we were having is uh, when our lease expired and it hasn't been renewed, uh, the park wasn't eligible for any kind of uh, state grants, federal grants, or, or county monies to help uh, expand and make the park a better place. So third reading on that. So now that that's uh, solidified, we can uh, start getting together and, and working and try to find some grant money to uh, enhance uh, the activities and the safety out there in the park for the constituents and people not only in the Sandy Springs area, but anyone that wants to utilize the park. We also, uh, tonight, uh, we had a, a piece of property or a building. Uh, we did a 30-year conveyance with the uh, Hope uh, Habitat for Humanity, and uh, they do a lot of great things for uh, uh, the county and the community, so I was glad to see that. It was a 30-year deal. We actually had it scheduled less, but Habitat wanted longer so that they could actually put their own funding in to uh, uh, do improvements on the building. So I'm glad that worked out and, and happy for them, and, and God bless them, and I appreciate uh, what they do for the community. Finally, but not least, uh, tonight was uh, we had a uh, we had voted to put uh, the one cent tax on uh, a referendum, a uh, transportation tax that could only be used for roads, bridges, and, and safety, nothing else. Uh, not vehicles, not employees, not equipment. And prior or after that had passed, uh, we'd reached out to the state and our state passed that we could exclude uh, uh, unprepared food. So, Basically, um, now that will, so you won't be paying a, a one cent tax on groceries and things of that nature. And I'm, I'm glad to see that. It, it will hurt the amount of, of funding that, that goes to our roads, but you know, we also got to uh, look at people on fixed incomes and things of that nature. That was um, one reason why we're going to have a, a special called council meeting next Tuesday, which I'm going to be out of town, but I'm planning on uh, calling in. That meeting will be uh, for the time schedule to get it on a referendum, and I think there's some stuff on uh, final reading or things that we have to solidify on uh, moving forward with our jail. And, uh, and even with that exclusion, it'll still provide substantial funding to moving ahead, fixing our roads and bridges. Correct. Right. right? Correct. Yes, and, and the main thing about it, you know, that that money that is generated, uh, it is supervised, overseen, and audited by uh, the state. So it's not like uh, the money that comes in, the county can go and spend it on what they want and, uh, you know, checks and balances. And I'm, I'm happy that uh, if, if it passes, I think uh, the people will see a substantial improvement in our roads. Okay. Uh, well, since I've been on council, uh, state money and c county tax money, there's been 
uh, millions and millions of dollars spent on our road system, and but it's just uh, barely dropping. The oh man, it cost a million dollars a mile to pave road, and uh, the worse the road is, uh, the more it costs per mile. You know, it, my first uh, go around with, I kept going, man, why are they paving this road over here? It's really not that bad. There's a road that's a lot worse, but. Uh, the road is a lot worse. You might get a half a mile because it's got to be taken all the way down to the dirt and you aggregate, so it eats up your costs. And I think the county's been trying to protect the roads that you think is not that bad you see getting paved. It's to keep them from getting down there, so you're getting more paving for the amount of money that you're getting. And, uh, and so the idea for the referendum that allow voters to say, do we want the roads repaired? Yeah, it basically. is up to... Uh, if they uh, want the roads repaired, that's where the money's going to come That's from. exactly right. And, uh, you know, there is small amounts coming in but uh, to do it right uh and people don't understand, oh, we've got growth and the increase in tax, but for, for every dollar of tax revenue we take in, right off the bat, 70 cents of that dollar goes to schools. Then you've got uh, another 10% that goes overall to library, fire, uh, fire safety, and then uh, what's left over, our sheriff's department actually uh, takes over 40, 45% of the county's budget. So basically, uh, when you run all the numbers, Numbers through the county's running the entire county on about five or six cents for every dollar collected. And you and mentioned growth. Growth also means more wear on the roads. Growth means more wear on the roads. Growth means okay, we've got to uh, increase the number of our deputies to make sure our citizens are protected, which we just done in the last budget. You also got to make sure your deputies are being paid well enough to want to come work in Anderson County. Plus, you got to have a, a salary that makes them want to uh, or helps the sheriff retain qualified deputies. And solid waste, solid waste, uh, it, you know, as it comes in, you know, you, you feel like, oh, well, there's more revenue coming in, but it's kind of like a uh, net zero to some effect. You know, they're, they're covering and sustaining them being here, but there's not, you know, the money you would think in your mind that, oh, yeah, now we're going to have more money to do certain things. But as people come in, uh, as you know, we haven't raised taxes in, in what, Seven years, eleven years, I think. We have one half a, a one mil increase, and in, when my first year on council, we uh, backed it back out. So we haven't had a tax increase, and in order to. Uh, with the people coming in to provide the services that, that, that they need and that we should be providing as a county is safety and quality of life, you know, it, it puts a strain. And I'm just uh, uh, glad to be a part of it. I'm glad that we don't have, you know, a tax increase. I think the, the road fee is one way that everyone that travels on our roads are paying their share. And, you know, if you did um, raise taxes, well, you know, only a, a, a commercial business is, they're the only ones paying for it. Uh, renters aren't paying for it. They're, you know, your vehicle is paying a small percentage of it, but the, those who, who don't travel or those that work out of uh, work or live in another county that comes into Anderson County to work, they're utilizing their assets and their money is being taxed in their own county. So uh, there's a, a lot of variables and, and factors you, you have to take in, into effect. And w once you start digging into it, you think, you, hey, I've got this figured out. And, the, you know, it's like an onion. The more layers, you just keep peeling back more and more layers. And it, it is uh, it's, it's a, a trick to balance it out and, and to make it, you know, my goal is, you know, no tax increase. I want to make sure that people have the goods, the services, the opportunities that they need to thrive and succeed in Anderson County. And overall, I think our, our council and our county is, is doing a, a tremendous job. And I'll put our county up against any county in the United States. Thank you very much for uh, uh, taking the time to listen to me. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, serve my constituents and I appreciate the opportunity to uh, serve Anderson County.